Hello, first grade friends. We have learned several rules for spelling the k sound. At the beginning or the middle of the word, we can use either K or C. When do we use K? At the beginning of the word, when should we use K? Before E, I, or Y, we put a K. Before E, I, or Y. So when do we use C? Before A, O, or U, or any other consonant, we use the letter C. And we also already know three different ways to spell k at the end of a word. What digraph do we use after a short vowel sound? What digraph says k? C, K, digraph C, K says k. How do we spell k after a consonant or a vowel digraph? Right, just with K itself. And what spelling do we use after a long vowel sound? After a long vowel sound, we use K-E. Remember the sneaky E helps make the long vowel sound. Today, we're learning one more way to spell k at the end of the word. So on my board, I am going to spell some different words for you. The first word that I am going to write is plastic. Plastic. I'm going to write the word sonic. Rustic. And majestic. How is the final k sound spelled in these words? Plastic, rustic, sonic, majestic with the letter C. When we use the other rules for, for spelling k at the end of the word, the words had one syllable. Are these one syllable words? Plastic, sonic, rustic, majestic. No, they are multi-syllable words. So sometimes we learn that we can count the vowels to find out how many syllables a word has. So we just clapped this out. Plastic. There's two vowels, there's two syllables. Sonic. Two vowels, two syllables. Rustic. Two vowels, two syllables. Majestic. Three vowels, three syllables. So that rule works. Each of these words has more than one syllable. This is the clue that tells us that the final k sound will use the letter C. When a word has two or more syllables and ends with the k sound, it is usually spelled with the letter C. So now, when we are going to write the spelling rule for k. We have to include that final C. So this is going to be a long one, okay? We say K comma C, final digraph C K comma K comma K E, now, comma, C. I know this looks like a lot to remember, but we are going to practice it many times. K, comma, C, final digraph C, K, comma, K, comma, K, E, comma, C. 
You can do it. All right, we are going to start working on our worksheet and we are going to practice all of these spelling rules, so don't worry.